35 pounds. And two 25 pound plates. Elk hunting's coming up in a month, so I'm starting to kick it into high gear. You know, even though I stay in shape, somewhat in shape year round by lifting weights and uh, walking on the treadmill, when you get into the high country and you're hunting up there at uh, 9, 10, 11,000 feet, walking up sheer cliffs, 5, 10, 12 miles a day, it's a different story. So I always like to make sure that I'm ready for it. It seems like everybody has their favorite sayings when it comes to getting in shape for hunting and more specifically for Rocky Mountain high country hunting. There's a popular saying that goes, after you pull the trigger, that's when the real work begins. And please excuse our messy basement but packing an elk out from the high country, packing your camp out, packing out lots of weight in the mountains can be really challenging. And uh, in my experience, most people aren't ready for it. You know, there's a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of guys who are making their living basically doing fitness for hunting. So I'm not at that level. I don't, I don't pretend to be somebody that I'm not but I've been doing this for a long time and my motto has always been get ready be ready so when you're up there and it comes time to pack quarter after quarter of elk meat off the mountains by yourself you're ready for it it's not a big deal it's a matter of putting one foot in front of the other so if you've watched my videos for any length of time or want to go back and check them out You'll see a few of the different types of exercises I like to do as I gear up for elk season. Today I've got 35 pounds in the uh, Slumberjack in the SJK Hone Pack and 25 pounds in each arm. That's 85 pounds total. And uh, I'm liking this new method of putting a few extra weights in my hand because a lot of times you have to do that. Every situation is different, but sometimes you might be a couple miles away from your base camp and kill an elk, spend a couple hours field dressing it, quartering out the meat, and you might have a day pack like the hone. You put a big old uh, front or rear quarter in there and that's combined weight with your daily supplies, a ton of weight. You might have a rifle in your other hand and you might choose to pick up a set of antlers with the other. So not uncommon to just be out for a stroll hunting, having a good time, dreaming about getting an elk, but then a couple hours later, have a situation like this where you're trekking back to camp with anywhere from 80 to 110, 130 pounds in your hands and on your shoulders. So you wanna know that you've done it before, not a big deal. Again, it's just a matter of putting one foot in front of the other. You might go slow, you might go fast, you might be at a slow crawl, but it's not a big deal if you've been doing it in training and you know that you can do it. Now I'm up at a full incline. This is when I'm gonna burn some serious calories and really get ready for the Colorado high country. Nothing fancy, but getting the job done. I'm 44 years old, and I wanna be able to run around the mountains no different than an 18 year old. This is how I can achieve that, and God willing, I'll have some sweet dividends to show you next month. So I hope you enjoyed this little peek at how I try to stay and get in shape for high country elk hunting in Colorado. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, 
to my videos, please do so. And until next time, this is the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter saying praise the Lord and pass the elk.